So I'm here with uh, the grade 12 students of the engineering and software classes uh, for the engineering department and uh, we're going to talk to you about what we've done since grade 9. So we're going to start right away with uh, our grade 9 course, BTT10. We worked on Word, Excel, and HTML and we did a little bit of JavaScript. Uh, so why don't you tell me what you, uh, we did? Okay, so here is one example of a web page that a student has created. Um, the student is Mark Kostolsky and here we've got various different links to all the different projects that we've done through grade, throughout grade 9 and he's also got some links to the projects that he has done in grade 10 as well. Um, and then continuing on into grade 10, we worked, this is uh, software, software programming. Um, we worked with Java, which is uh, the main programming language that we've used at this school. Um, this is a video of the final exam that we had to create. So in grade 10, uh, after you know 90 or so students, uh, were reduced down to just 20 for that. Is that right? Yeah. So 20 students were basically supposed to do both hardware and software exercises. We started off uh, with hardware. And uh, why don't you show us some example of what we did? The yeah. roll-down counter. Um, yeah, in hardware, we not only got down to, was it even less than 20, wasn't it? I believe so. In grade 10 hardware? Yeah, 19 yeah. or so. Um, So and this, this was this was Max's circuit right here. Max, why don't you tell us how you did this? Well, that was a long time ago, actually. Uh, well, we started step by step. So we started from the left here. We had uh, an oscillating circuit, which would just make an on off, on off, on off continuously. Second circuit would make these LEDs go off, ten of them, to uh, justify ten digits. And this third chip uh, set those ten digits, digits and set them to hex, which is a 16 base number, and the last chip converted it into the display. So uh, you don't happen to have a roll down counter here to show, uh, do you? Well, uh, oh yeah, actually I do. Here's an example of the circuit that we built in grade 10. Um, this one I currently isn't plugged in, so nothing's going to show up, but you can just see how complex that looks. It's kind of All funny. right, so this took us over uh, I actually got my uh, Tesla coil in my pocket too. <laughs> <laughs> what grade is that from? Grade 12 engineering. I'll do that. It's pretty intense. Kind That's of really cool. So, uh, what what happened in grade 11? Did it, was it just one course? Uh, yeah, grade 11. You had an option to go into uh, software or hardware. Uh, and what did we work on in software? In software, we continued with Java. Uh, here is one example of a project that we did. We worked in. Um, something called Fractals, and this is actually Max's project that he worked on. Yeah, this is our final exam actually. and uh, we, we have a lot of Max's projects. It's like a mathematical uh, picture, which doesn't make much sense until you actually take the course and uh, look through it, but it's actually graphing the imaginary number plane and setting different colors, so it's just... Well, so what did you do on the hardware it. side then? On the hardware side, uh, we continued on with just building circuits and so on. Here's an example of a counting circuit that we developed. And so what did this do exactly? Uh, this kind of replaced, well as you can see here, kind of replaced this circuit except we did it only using one chip. Oh, so it's much more efficient you mean? It's much more efficient but we also used uh, another programming la language called assembly which can kind of combine everything that these chips does do into one efficient package and we had to program it ourselves to do that. Kind of laughed at the grade 10s for having it on one chip. So what do the, the big trade grade 12s do? What kind of things do they work on? Uh, the grade 12s got pretty specialized. We only had two in our engineering class uh, this year. Um, one example of a project that we just finished, we had turn off the lights so we can see, is this LCD display that we have programmed to display text. And so far, we've only been putting manual inputs in here to create an input. So you can see an example of some things that we've done on that. So pretty soon, you're going to hook up a chip to you know start putting yeah. out messages? Oh, yeah. that's really cool. And what did the software engineers do? Um, well, I'll let you answer that, Matt. You're in software. Oh, well, uh, I'd love to tell you all about it then. Uh, basically, uh, from what I understand, from what we've been working on, we've been doing 3D animations, or, uh, or 2D animations, excuse me, uh, with the Java language. Uh, these are examples of what we've been working on. Um, uh, so, you know, we each got to do our own thing here. It's the creative side of uh, computer science. And it uses what's called matrix math. Uh, 
to um, apply transformations to points on the Cartesian plane to basically move these things uh, around the screen. And uh, you know, you see, uh, they've been getting better and better over the years. And I'm sure, uh, as our teacher, Mr. Dicey, would agree, uh, this is the best year ever. And uh, that's really all. But these courses have also come in handy into many of our other courses and our extracurricular lives. Um, the BTT 1.0 course in grade nine really helped us with other courses to develop, you know, good uh, Excel or Word documents and make them look good uh, for uh, projects and so on. Uh, Max has a funny story. He's recently bought some new speakers and uh, speaker system for his car. Um, after wiring it twice, it didn't work out so well. He kind of just didn't really look at the schematics and just based on his uh, engineering assumptions. Knowledge, assumptions, yeah. Assuming that everything was backwards because it's a German car. Um, but after the third try, you got it. Oh yeah. Eventually, it was just the speakers weren't hooked up and wired properly, so I had to rewire my car. So. Well, thanks guys. I, I hope this gets you really interested in uh, engineering and what we have to offer here at RSGC for the engineering program. Uh, there's plenty of uh, other projects, but we don't have time to show them all. And uh, if you want to see more, you can come in and check it out anytime. Thanks.